Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. I'm getting a lot of questions. I did a video a while back about how to clean seat belts. And I'm getting a lot of questions saying, Scott, can you kind of go over the process again? And I think it's worth mentioning it because that first time I made that video, there's times I forget what it's like to really, really work on some really grungy, dirty cars. It's just, it's not my reality every day. But I talked about steam cleaning the, the seat belt, and that works really well. But if you have seat belts that are really hammered, I mean, they, they were once like tan looking and now they're black because they're just that filthy. I know they exist, they're out there in the world somewhere. I've seen guys take these seat belts all the way out and then they'll put them in some type of uh, bucket laying next to the truck with a strong cleaner in it. That's fine, that works. But for me, if it's really, really bad, I talked about using a steamer, and I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna show you a different technique that works for me. So what I'm gonna do, this seat belt's not all that bad, but it's got some grease and grime on it. I'm gonna take my drug of choice, which happens to be super clean. This is a degreaser. I keep this stuff diluted around four to one, five to one. It's about six ounces in a 32 ounce bottle. The rest of the bottle's filled with distilled water. I'm going to show you if I had like a really nasty, grungy type of seatbelt, what I would actually do. I'm actually going to saturate this seatbelt with Super Clean. I'm going to do something like that, get it all nice and saturated. Then I'm going to take my steamer, but if you notice, my steamer doesn't have an end on it whatsoever. I don't have any end on it, so when I squeeze the trigger, I'm just having pure steam. I am going to rest that steamer head, the end of that nozzle, or the lack of a nozzle on it, and just simply rest it right on the seatbelt and pull my trigger. And as I do that, I am literally watching grease and grime just suck right out of that seatbelt. I'll take a clean microfiber towel and just mop up after myself and pull any grease and grime that came up through it. Now, the reason why I don't have the head, the nozzle, or any type of head on the nozzle, I want pure steam. I also want a flat surface to work with. So when I rest that on there, depending on how bad the seatbelt is, you may have to go over it again. I mean, some seatbelts can be absolutely hammered. Just spray a little bit more on there, get it all nice and saturated. But you'll notice when I'm using the steam and I got it up against the seatbelt like this, it's actually blowing through the seatbelt and coming out the other side. For me, this just is one of the easiest ways, and then I'll come in with a microfiber towel and just mop up after myself. Look at that grease and grime I was able to pull up off that, that seat belt. It's disgusting. These things can get really out of hand, and then I'll just simply come in and mop up after myself, and I'll continue that all the way down the seat belt. I'll try to bring you guys in close. Hopefully you can see it. This is absolutely clean. Then if I come down here, where the super clean has kind of dripped onto the seat belt, and I haven't used the steamer yet. You can see, hopefully it will show up on the camera, you will see all the, God, I can't even hold this thing right. You'll see all the grease and grime just still sitting here. But if we come up here towards the seatbelt area that I actually sprayed steam directly onto it, it does a phenomenal job versus this area here by my thumb. Sorry, somebody's working around me. This area down here is filthy. I gotta just keep going down the seatbelt. But resting that steamer right up against the seatbelt, squeezing that trigger. And you'll work your way down the seatbelt. I would start up high and work my way down the seatbelt because we got this thing called gravity on this planet, right? So you're actually gonna start pushing the grease and grime downwards and you're just gonna keep going. You're gonna see grease and grime down here. Go all the way to the end of the seatbelt. But using steam, in my opinion, 
without the nozzle on it, directly laid up against the seat belt with a strong degreaser like Super Clean, mix four to one, it'll make your life so much easier. It'll, these things are not easy to clean. They're, they're some of the toughest stuff on the planet to clean. But go ahead, if you watch my other seatbelt video, I have this little clip. That's stopping the seatbelt from wanting to go back and retract. So I would start all the way up there and just slowly work down the seatbelt, get this area all nice and clean. And as we come down here, look at this crap. Look at all this grease and grime that still has to come out of it. I gotta just work my way down the seatbelt and just get it all out of there. It's like 102 degrees here in Dallas. I'm killing myself when I'm using steam. Probably the only disadvantage to using steam in Dallas is like, it's not hot enough, right? Now I gotta work around steam. But it's absolutely effective of cleaning some really, really bad seat belts. Hope that helps you out. I know the first video I did was kind of brushing over the topic. I just wanted to show it in action how it absolutely works. It works great. Get that nozzle right up against it if you have steam. That works really well. And blow that steam through the belt with a good degreaser. Super degreaser by Meguiar's would work. Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted heavy, like four to one. Super clean just seems to be the cleaner I'm using on a daily basis. Works wonders on seat belts in conjunction with a great steamer. That steamer I'm using is a McCulloch 1375. This thing's under 200 hours. It just, it makes all the sense in the world. And you're just gonna keep flushing that debris downwards on the belt and just mop up, up, mop up after yourself as you go. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Hopefully that helps you out. Wanted to revisit the topic because I'm getting a lot of questions about it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. I love you all. Thank you very much. I got to get out of the sun. I'm dripping like a pig. Sorry, guys. Love one another.